talk about Joe Biden and his increasingly distressing performance on the stump in 2022. Now, the folks over at the Federalist.com website have put together a compilation of the top 10 Biden gaffes, bloopers, or downright fall aparts they say proves the U.S. president is on the downhill sloped cognitive decline. Here are a few of them, and I wonder if you'll agree. Remember, Biden started out 2022 forgetting what year it was. There's a lot of reason to be hopeful in 2020, but for God's sake, Please take advantage of what's available. He said those words on January 4th, 2022. It is noteworthy that the percentage of women who register to vote and cast a ballot is consistently higher than the percentage of the men who do so. End of quote. Repeat the line. Women are not without electoral and or political or, or maybe precise, not and or or political power. End quote. Repeat the line. Well done, President Ron Burgundy. Then there was a time he claimed childhood oil slicks on his mother's car windscreen gave him cancer. The first frost, you know what was happening. You had to put on your windshield wipers to get literally the oil slick off the window. That's why I and so damn many other people I grew up have cancer. He didn't have cancer. Then there was the time President Biden gave a shout out to a congresswoman who had died in a road accident just weeks earlier, but who he thought was still alive. And I want to thank all of you here for in including bipartisan elected officials like Representative Governor, Senator Braun, Senator Booker, Representative Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? I didn't think she was, she was going to be here to help make this a reality. I see dead people. And then there are all the times he's managed to get lost, just getting off a stage. Uh, Mr. President, thank you. At the end of such a momentous event, Oh, here we are, yes. But of course, Joe Biden has a message for all his skeptics. Watch me. If you think I don't have the energy level or the mental acuity, then, then you know, that's one thing. Oh, yeah, Mr. President, we're watching, all right.